Hello monkey. Today I've got an updated guide on the whole modding tutorial, so any issues you had last time should all be fixed, uh, but it's mostly because quest patch is updated and so is Gorilla Zag. We got new sounds. Ooh. Anyway, uh, if I do help you at all in this video, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, it really helps out. Uh, and also, when you're done, if you want to see me play a game, it's there, you know, just just click it, you know, it's, it's fine, you know, just, you know, it's right there. Alright, let's go. Okay, so here we go. This is the Quest Patch website. We'll, I'll put this in the description. Um, it also has uh, instructions for if you're on macOS or Linux. So if you're not on Windows like I am, then you should go over to this website and just follow these tutorials here. Anyway, what we're going to need to do is go to this GitHub page here. We're going to navigate down to the windows.exe one. Now, once this is installed, we're just going to open it up. Now, it does say that Windows has protected your PC, but that's just because it's made by an unknown publisher. We're just going to click Run anyway. And we're going to go through this whole installation process. Now, once it's done, you just need to make sure you're set to open Quest Patcher and click Finish. And we'll get this loading screen. Now, obviously, I've done this all before. Okay, I couldn't work out how to, uh, to uninstall my app safely. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the images that you will be able to see so you obviously get this loading screen at first just wait for that to finish and then you'll get this screen here which says patch my app now for this bit what you're going to need to do is make sure your oculus quest is plugged into whatever computer you're using it doesn't need to be a gaming computer or anything like that just make sure that it's connected and you've accepted the agreements in the headset that say you can like use data and stuff and once you click that it's it may take up to up to 15 minutes to patch your app and then you will come to this screen now, at this point, you're basically done. Um, what you're going to want to do now is head over to Discord. Now, in the description, you will find a link to the Gorilla Tag Modding Discord and mine if you want to join. We are not very active, but maybe maybe we can change that, you know. Anyway, here you will find all of the mods that you can download for Gorilla Tag. Make sure you're in the Quest Mod releases. The PC Mod releases just won't work. Um, and... I recommend Monkey Computer. If you want to learn how to use this, you can check my video in the corner right now. You can just grab any of these. I'm just going to grab whatever this one is. We're going to click download. This actually looks like quite a fun mod. And yours will be empty. But what we need to do basically, let me just move this to the side, is we're going to take the mod. We're going to drag it out from our, from our Google Chrome. And we're just going to drop it into the mods here. And as you can see, that will install the mod. If we scroll down here, we, we've got it. And you flip someone off, you ascend to the heavens. What an amazing mod. One of the other popular mods that a lot of people use is the monkey cosmetics. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we are just going to quickly download. Same as before, we just drag and drop. And I obviously have a few here already. From when I was messing about last time I played the game. But what you can do is you can go down to hats or materials and just grab whichever ones you want. Now, I uh, found an American flag hat here. I'm just going to download that. And um, same as the mods, you just need to drag and drop it into your cosmetics area and it will download. Uh, and you can do the exact same with materials. You know what, I'm going to grab some Skittles. Why not? Now, to see your, your materials, you just need to uh, click on this area at the top. It will say hats and just go down to materials. Now that we've got all of this installed, I'm going to go over to my quest i'm going to show you what you need to do in keep in mind you can unplug your quest at this point it doesn't need to be connected to your computer while you play now here we are in our quest and if we just head over to gorilla tag you'll see we have this little icon in the corner now you're gonna click open, and you'll see this little pop up don't click restore i've seen so many people have issues because they click restore if you do click restore i've got a video on how to update your gorilla tag if you follow that you should be able to get back perfectly fine anyway if we click open up you will see, obviously I've used Monkey Cosmetics before, but here we are, we are in Gorilla Tag, we've got all our mods, Monkey Computer is here, now I get a comment saying to use room code JMAN, so we're going to just load in there, if you'd like to uh, pick the next room code, you can always tell me which one you want me to use in the comments, anyway I'm going to enable Platform Monkey, because I cannot be bothered to touch the floor, And here we go, all of our hats are here. 
you know, we can grab our, our American flag. I also found this, uh, Make America Great Again hat, which I thought was, you know. And, of course, my crown. Uh, and here we have all of the materials. Got our Skittles down here. All we need to do is touch them and it just puts them on. Obviously, I'm in a game right now, so you can't actually see the, the material. You will see we have become Skittles. Now, a couple of things I get asked a lot. Uh, will other people see this? Yes, but only if they have the mods installed. So if they have the materials and all of the mods installed that you're using and all the hats, then they will, they'll be able to see you. Uh, if they don't, then well, they, they, it just looks normal to them. You'll just be normal, you'll be basic. Um, and once again, you don't need to stay connected to your computer for this to work. If I helped at all, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll, every time that the quest patcher has like a significant update or Gorilla Tag has an update that changes things, I will update the tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. I answer as quickly as I can. And I will see you later.